Welcome back. There is an art to crafting the perfect burrito. The delicious Mexican dish can be a little messy if it's not done right. Food blogger Meg Vanderkrijk recently walked us through the basics in our kitchen know-how segment. Take a look. Hola, Meg. I am so excited to be here. I know I have a sombrero somewhere. I love it. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm glad to have you back. Um, do you want to talk about burritos today? I know, uh, you know it. I mean, I, actually, it's what's going to be for lunch, as is always the case when I get to chat with you, because you inspire us uh, to make great meals for our family, but also kind of simple, and they don't require a lot of steps, which I love. So, You're gonna love this. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, what is the first step in just making a basic burrito at home? Okay, so I break burrito night down, or burritos in general, down to three different topics. The tortilla, the filling, and the roll. Ooh. When you're shopping for a tortilla, there's three factors, Christine. You want the biggest tortilla you can find. This is kind of what you're normally gonna grab out of a large pack at a grocery store. You go to a specialty, like a Mexican market, to get much larger tortillas. You also want your tortilla to be super thin none of those pillowy flour tortillas. You want really thin, pliable tortillas. And the third factor, and I know this is gonna be a tricky one for people, you want a tortilla with a high fat content. Say that. I know, I was like, I'm waiting for it. And here's why, let me tell you. So when you wanna roll a burrito, when you go to your favorite burrito shop, you know how they always heat up the tortilla? Well, that warms up all the fat in that tortilla, making it pliable and super easy to roll. All right, if we're going to have a little fat in our diet, you know what? This is the place, right? Because then we can put a lot of protein and veggies right. in our, as we have for our filling, right? So I always use burrito night as an excuse to use up leftover rice that I have sitting in the fridge. So A, don't cook rice on burrito night. Leftover rice is the way to go. Socks up the sauce. It's perfect. perfect. And then all you need is two ingredients. The first, a can of red enchilada sauce. And the second is two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. What you're going to do, I know you know, I mean, you can even eliminate salt and pepper if you want to. <laughs> you know, this is seasoned for you, which is why I love it. So all you're going to do is take this, put a cup of enchilada sauce and your chicken breasts into your Instant Pot or your oven in an Instant Pot seven minutes, and then you shred it and it's good to go. It's perfect filling for burritos, tacos, enchiladas, or whatever you want. You know, how much is too much? Like, you don't want to overstuff, right? No, you don't want to overstuff. So let me get my gigantor tortilla back here for you. So really, you just want to fill in the middle section. So a generous scoop of rice, a generous scoop of beans. Um, if you have a little enchilada sauce left over from that can, put it in some canned beans and heat them up. They're perfect, too. More Less than you think you're going to need. Okay. And then with these big ones... The problem is the roll, right? That's what I said, it's the third thing. Yeah. You wanna get the bigger tortillas so you can also fold it in the middle. So your ingredients are here in the middle. You can fold the sides in and then flip and tuck, right? So yeah. you wanna swaddle your burrito like a baby, Christine. You don't <laughs> want those fillings going everywhere. You want it super tight when you roll it. And I have one last tip on rolling a burrito. You remember how I told you you heat up that tortilla in the beginning? I do mine in like a medium heat pan. I leave it on while I'm rolling. And then I take that burrito and I pop it seam side down. And this seals the burrito and melts all the cheese inside like a restaurant. So then you have perfectly toasted burrito on the side that doesn't fall apart. It is perfect. Okay, have you seen, I'm sure you have, there is like a folding technique that has gone viral. Um, did you see it? I've seen it and I'm gonna show it to you okay. right now. Okay. okay, so should you find yourself not wanting to roll a burrito or maybe you have two small tortillas, now you know what you need. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take a tortilla and you're gonna cut a slit up to the center. From there, we're gonna work in quadrants. Can you see this? First quadrant, leafy dry greens, things like that. Avocado would be great here. Second is your drier ingredients, chicken or beans, kind of saucy stuff here. And then your cheese on the outside. Now I'm gonna fold, you ready? Okay. So leafy things that don't need to get too hot to stay fresh on the inside. 
fold over. Oh my gosh. Fold over again. There you go. So it's kind of like a quesadilla now, but it tastes like a burrito because it's got all those great burrito fillings inside. You pop it back down in your skillet. Look at that. My gosh. <laughs> Meg, you are a rock star. Thank you, thank you so much. You always inspire me, and God knows that I need a lot of inspiration in the kitchen. Where can we go to get more of your recipes? This mess is ours.com. I'm actually putting all of this on the website this morning for your viewers so they can get all of our burrito tips and our recipes today on this mess is ours.com. Terrific. Thank you so much. Mwah. Adios, amiga. <laughs> Adios.